section, have you wildin'? Last minute trips to the highlands. Trip, trip, trip when you slide in. Fit, 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 baby. What's going on my low riders? Welcome back to my channel for another video. It is Saturday, so happy Saturday my people. And we are vibing out today, okay? Mama don't got her baby. Y'all know, it's the weekend. So yesterday I dropped Rylan off to my mom and I hung out over there all day yesterday until it was time to like go home and it was raining so bad last night so I'm so glad that you know she was already staying over there because me plus Rylan plus the rain was a big triple no you know so thanks mom it's like me saying thank you but I always say thank you of course but this is what my mama want to do she wants Rylan Friday I mean she's calling Wednesday like yeah so you bringing Rylan over, right? And is, period. I look a mess because, of course, I am about to start getting dressed. Like, I don't know what I'm going to do to my hair, but I'm about to get it going, okay? Saturday, I know I have to go grocery shopping. I know I have, like, a few errands to run. I need to get um, Rylan some stockings for her birthday party she's going to next weekend. So, I'm going to try to get this stuff done today since I don't have my baby. It seems like every time I don't have her, though, I just start doing stuff that I never had planned. So, let's hope that I do what I'm supposed to. Grocery shopping is mandatory, though. Like, we absolutely will be hitting the store. I know we're going to go to Costco, so I'm just going to get myself together, put on my Fashion Nova sweatsuit, because it's giving sweatsuit weather today. My people over at Fashion Nova sent me flowers and a card congratulating me on the birth of Miss Ryland Girl, and I love my family over at Fashion Nova. So, I have to say thank you again. I know I said thank you on Instagram, but I'm going to always say thank you any platform love y'all so i'm gonna show you all my flowers and my cards before i leave the house because they are downstairs look it's so nice in my kitchen the flowers are ugh, 10 out of 10 okay let me get myself together because i'm just rambling i love y'all i'm back at it vlogging 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 all 2024 y'all seen them fingers ah! all right let me get myself together i'm dressed and i'm ready to head out I got on my fashion over sweatsuit. Y'all can't really see it, but I'm gonna have Reese show y'all when we get to the store, like a full fit. And let me show y'all my flowers and read y'all my card before I head out. Here are my flowers. Can y'all see? Yes! I love flowers, y'all, but let me read y'all the card, okay? It says, Lourdes, congratulations on the arrival of baby girl, Rylan Saeed. Wishing you and your precious bundle of joy, endless love and joy as you embark on this beautiful journey of motherhood. With love, Fashion Nova. I love y'all too. For real, for real. Like, I always have on my Fashion Nova stuff, like even if I don't post it. And the other day I had it on this sweatshirt. And this girl was like, where'd you get that from? I'm like, girl, Fashion Nova. Like, don't you get everything from there? <laughs> It's me. Okay. So, I just want to say thank you, Fashion Nova, for the flowers. The nice message. I really love y'all. And I got some content, Fashion Nova content, coming for my people real soon. So, be on the lookout for that. And I'm about to head out. We are headed to Costco's. You were made for me. I know that's right. You were made So change of plans, when we got to Costco's, I thought I didn't have my Costco's card and they were asking for it, but actually the whole time it's been in my middle console. Great. So me and Reese, we had to go separate ways because he ended up having to do something and then I was just like, well, we can just make sure we go to the store tomorrow. So let's hope we do that. But now I just got me some Jersey mics and I'm headed to my mom's house to um, see Rylan as well as I wanted my mom to go to Walmart with me because I'm looking for some stockings for Rylan so she can wear it to the birthday party on next Saturday. So, I mean, we might go to Walmart and maybe like Target or other another store, excuse me, if we don't find the stockings for her dress. Yeah, so I'm gonna go see my baby and my mom and eat my food and I'll see what else today brings me. Wait, but the Jersey Mike's was in the same plaza as Chipotle, y'all. And your girl did not get Chipotle. Am I growing up? <laughs> I do love Chipotle still though. Like I haven't had it in a really long time, but I love Chipotle, period. I'm not gonna switch up on my Chipotle. 
I am here at Marshall's with my mom and Rylan. Say hi, mom. Hi. Period. And what are we looking for? Kitty. Yeah. Chair. Oh, it's $129. That is nice. Let me show y'all a better view. Like, what? That is so cute, y'all. What the hell? We are really just looking for like sleepers, baby girl clothes, but they don't really. Let me not speak too soon. I don't know. But this Marshalls is nice, it's cute, it's clean, it's laid out perfectly, and they have all the Easter stuff out looking real cute. So I'm gonna just show y'all some cute little finds, stuff that I see in here. And let's see what the Marshalls is giving. They have the springtime sets out. We love a little sock and hat set. Well, that's not even a hat, but you know a bow. We love a sock and bow set. Look at my mama, she ready to find something. Oh, how cute are these knitted booties? My goodness. Okay, Easter thing. <laughs> okay. Hi, little nugget. Oh, just do it. Yeah, she needs that. That's so cute. How big is that? Oh, yeah, yeah. We can get that. That's so cute. I found a St. Patty's Day outfit, y'all. Marshalls, don't play. Okay, I'm definitely gonna get this though. Wow. So cute. I got a few things out of the Marshalls. Um, this little lamp for her bathroom, like this thing that goes on her wall. It's like a mirror picture. I don't know. It has a light on it. It's cute. But I got that out of there. I mean, I had a budget. I have spent over my budget already and I just got to Walmart to look for the workout clothes that I was looking for so yeah I don't know guys I think I'm still gonna probably get them but like why is my budgeting not working today right like I spent $78 on Marshalls I bought the baby all clothes and I bought me some little cute hair clips I bought me a hair clip that's gonna match her um St. Patrick's Day outfit so that's cute you know like some way we can match now we are at the Walmart well I already said that my mom is grocery shopping, me and Rylan. She's actually asleep, so we're just kicking it, and I'm gonna go look at the workout clothes. We are back at the house. I did end up getting the clothes from Walmart, the workout stuff. I didn't get to try it on in the Walmart because we got to Walmart at like, what, 820 something, and it was closing at nine, so they kept saying like, get y'all stuff together because we're gonna be closing at nine, exactly, registers shut down at you nine o'clock. So I'm like, Okay, but I got four different colors, so hopefully they fit cute so I don't have to take them back. Clearly, your girl just woke up. But let me tell y'all, I left my mom's house really, really, really late last night. It was literally 3 o'clock in the morning. And we didn't realize that the time had went forward. So it really would have been like 2, which is still really late. But it was 3 o'clock when I looked back at my phone. So I'm like, let me get out of here. Let me skedaddle. We were literally just running our mouths with each other all night. My sister went to sleep. We were still sitting in the room talking with each other. And I'm like, yeah, let me get up out of here because Reese is going to be like, what is going on? And at this point, Rylan was already asleep. So I'm like, okay, mommy going to see you tomorrow because mommy needs to go home and get some sleep. That's the whole point of you coming over here. <laughs> and I'm still up all night. But today... We are actually going to hit the store. We do have the right plans. So yesterday when we got to Costco's, I told y'all I think I left my car. And it was actually in my middle console. So we're going to try all of that again. We do need to go to the store. But it's super windy outside. So my plans of washing my hair before I go seems like that's a wrap. This hair is a mess. It has like got to be all stuck up top because... Y'all know I love a slick bag, so I'd be making sure my slick bag is super slick. I had a really good time yesterday, though. I will say that. And, again, when I'm out, I do be trying to budget. Um, I budget very well, but I will say this lately. Like, I just been making myself happy. Like, when I was out yesterday with my mom, I was not supposed to get a lot of the stuff that I got. But once I was there, once I started getting it, I'm like, I feel good about it. So, like, whatever. How about four workout outfits, all different colors? And Walmart is a little expensive now. Like, literally spent like $150 on Walmart because I ended up having to get four little tank tops to go under 
the workout sweater thing that I got. Cute colors though. I think it was worth it. As well as, I'm going to show y'all the stuff that I got from the Marshalls. But I need to get myself together so I can get my day going because the time going forward has pushed me back. Here is a preview of the stuff I got. We got this for Rylan. Spring vibes, you know. St. Patty's Day. On the way. She's going to wear that next weekend. I got myself these. Like, how cute. Like, I don't know. I just thought they were so cute. This is for her bathroom. Boom, baby. How hot is that? I got these so that me and her could match on St. Patrick's Day. How cute, right? And I got these as well just to have some normal. I'm probably going to put the pink one in today. And then these are the show stealer, okay? I got these boots right here from like a little local shoe store. You know, um, how to be having the little stores. I got these stellar stealer boots right here, y'all. I thought these would be so cute for like the springtime. Maybe with a short, cute shirt. I showed him to Reese. He's like, oh, for St. Patrick's Day? No. But I also got that little purse right there, too. It was at the same little boutique store. thought this stuff was really cute, though. But, yeah, this is all I got, as well as the workout clothes. I left the workout clothes in the car, so I won't be able to show y'all that until I come back from the store. So that I can just bring all the bags out of the car at one time. But, yeah. I mean, this does not look like, how much was it spent in Marshalls? I think $78 at Marshalls. And like, not the boots, not the boots and the purse. Just this stuff. Is it given 78 Like, I don't know. But the little Nike outfit was $13. So I thought that was a good price. Like, mm, how cute though, right? You know, springtime, mommy and baby walking the park. Now that I've showed y'all that, I guess I could really get myself together because I was trying to put one of these on and I didn't want to, you know, open it up without showing my people first. So, this is what I got on. I got on a little sweatsuit, but I'm going to do my hair, put on some shoes so we can get to the store because we are running behind. I got my clothes on. I got my claw clip in my hair. I mean, I really did nothing to the hair. It really looks a mess, but... This is what I gotta give today because I do need to wash my hair. And then I'm thinking I'm gonna blow dry it. And then by the weekend, I might give myself a quick weave or something. So I got all week to like do that whole step. Wash, blow dry, and try to get the quick weave in. Right now, I'm just eating me some fruit from Publix before we go. And I guess Costco's is the first stop again. Hopefully we get everything together correctly this time. The car is in the middle console. You see, added to my change jar. This thing heavy. It's yeah. like 25 pounds. <laughs> okay, I need to throw my bananas away. I don't know why I didn't eat these last two, but it was like six on here, so that's good. We made it to Costco's, and we have so much stuff on our cart, you guys. Like, hi. I know. I'm they like, we. Animal crackers. I wanted to grab. Animal. Yeah, Animal crackers. I was gonna eat them. I was like, dang, I could eat these with Riley, but <laughs> she not. Over there. You can't eat those yet. See, that's what I'm saying. We come in here, we just talk about animal crackers. We do not get no animal crackers at the store, but hopefully this stuff is not that expensive. But all right, I'll I know it is, that. but whatever. I mean, we have a lot of stuff. Let me show you. So I got one of those for my mom, and then a bag of strippers for my mom because yesterday me and my mom ate shrimp, her whole bag. So I'm gonna just get her a bag. And then this is what we have here. Lord. The waters are still $3.99, so look how many we got. We are done. Our stuff came up to $342. Boom, for just that little bit of stuff. But honestly, like I said, we had groceries and stuff already. So like, we just got stuff to like add to it. And the stuff in the trunk, great. Oh yeah, there goes my clothes, y'all. See, I knew I should've took them out the car, but it's okay. We're gonna load this stuff up in the car, take it back home, and I think I'm gonna shoot over to my mom's. Reese's getting those groceries put out the box. Y'all know Costco, we get the big boxes of everything, so you gotta bust it down, bust it down, bust it down out the box. Let me show y'all, Gushers, they just gave me a pack of Gushers with one Gusher in it 
That's not funny. <laughs> I am cutting up my salmon. Let me show y'all how much stuff we got though. All right. <laughs> whoa. We are, whoa. We are overly like having food for like, real. What we got? Uh, <laughs> Lamb chop. Yeah. Steak. Okay, I just put everything in here so nice. Oh my bad. My bad. <laughs> we got Chick Fil A. We yeah. Got we yeah. Got we got vegetable shrimp fish. Oh, we is good. We do not have to go to the store for a minute. He's about to get us some juices in there. And yeah. I have changed clothes, y'all. I literally have on just all black with some boots. It's cold outside. But I wasn't feeling that little white outfit. It was fitting a little too tight in the pants. So I changed outfits. But I'm about to just head over to my mom's house in a second. But I do want to show y'all the clothes from Walmart that I got. The workout stuff. So, can y'all see? Okay, so just a matching set. Pants. With like a little jacket. So, that's the first color. I'm going to show y'all all of them. So, we got a light blue. Of course, black. We have this lavender. I love this lavender, honestly. And then I got these, like, little shirts just to wear up underneath in case I get hot. And we also have this color here. So, I got four different outfits. $124. Then the shirts came up to $17. So, so I spent all together in the Walmart about $144. Definitely went over the budget, but again, I'm finna be feeling good because I'm really finna get to working out, like, for real, for real. And I'm excited. The clothes, they make you want to work out, you know? Does anybody else, like, ever feel like that? Like, cute workout clothes make you want to work out and go harder? Yeah. So, yeah, I'm about to head out, go to my mom, see Rylan, actually pick her up. But we're not about to leave no time soon, like, from my mom's house because... It's just Sunday. We're just going to chill over there for a little second, for real, for real. So, I'm going to get myself together to head on out to my mom's because I was just refixing my hair. Like, I don't know what's going on here, honestly. But, yeah. I do want to talk to y'all about a new idea I have. Um, I am going to do a Q&A on Instagram as well just to see, like, what everybody thinks I should do. Like, is that the vibe? But do we think that I should be creating an Instagram with mommy, like, content? Like, you know? I'm going to touch bases on that in a second. <laughs> I just made it here and my G mommy is here as well. I'm not doing much of anything. I just put this case on my phone. It's Stitch. But let's see Rylan and G mommy. Oh, hi guys. You so sweet. <laughs> so yeah. Not doing much of anything right now. She is heavy, huh? You gonna say something because you were sleeping in the last clip real bad. <laughs> Y'all, I know I look a mess, but look at Rylan. Hey girl, she's trying to figure out what's going on. So last night when we came home, it was like so cold at nighttime. So I had to get her in the house, you know, just like get things moving real fast. So I ended up leaving my camera in the car all night. But I made some pepper steak, y'all, and it was so good. So if I eat something for lunch, I'm going to show y'all. But it was so good. Like Reese loved it. I loved it. She didn't have any. I just kind of winged it because I looked at a recipe. One second. She just got me good because she did just finish eating. But we burped. Like, we went on a whole burp. She ain't been bouncing or nothing. But she had to spit up, clearly. So, I mean, whatever. It got all over me. But at least it didn't get all on her fresh clothes that I just put her on since she woke up. But anyways, I don't even remember what I was saying because the throw up just threw me off. Throw up, throw off. Okay. But, Yeah. The, oh, I think I was talking about the pepper steak I made last night, and it was so good, I will say. I don't know, like, a recipe because I've seen some recipes, but I really didn't use it. I just kind of had to use what I had. So I used, like, teriyaki sauce, um, brown sugar. I ran out of brown sugar, so I had to use real sugar. I used some water chester sauce, however you say that. I also used um, 
some honey like to get that sauce a little sweet then i use some hot sauce to balance it as well as red wine vinegar so it's a little eyes <laughs> so yeah but it came out really good so i was really proud of that and you know i'm just a wing it type girl oh flour as well to make it like the sauce thicker and then cut up my pepper oh it was so good y'all with some white rice that was but sink let me get myself together so that I could talk to y'all about my mommy um, idea. Like, I want to know what y'all think of this idea. My babe's about to head out. He has to go to work. So, <laughs> look at me. Love you, baby. Oh, he told his oh, baby yeah. bye. Look how she looking at you. <laughs> Love you, babe. So, let me get myself together. Let me get my day going. My baby is dressed. So, that's perfect. And now it's time for me to get dressed. I got myself together. I got my hair in this little claw clip again. Not really giving much of anything because it's a little chilly outside, like super windy. So definitely gonna be in the house today. We won't be going nowhere. We don't have no reason to either. Like we have groceries, we have everything we need. So today I just said I'm going to really put in some work, get my life together, get things, you know, that I need to get done, done. And I've been doing that and I'm so proud of myself so far. Um, I still have a lot to do, but at least I've started. Rylan is asleep, so that means I need to knock out, of course, as much stuff as I can. And I've done a lot, but not everything. So, I mean, something's better than nothing. Gotta give myself a pat on the back for that regardless, period. So, I have this idea, basically like, to create a mom brand with like an Instagram that has like the mom memes and things like that mom content because I do want to make mom content on Instagram as well like the reels and stuff like that but I didn't want to directly put it on my page so I'm like well if I actually just create a whole brand and I can use all of that mommy content on that page I thought that was like a really good idea because I like seeing those types of pages like with mom memes and just seeing people with um do first time mom reels and stuff like that as well as I like to see it on TikTok so although I am doing it on YouTube already I do want to you know try to do other avenues of content as well because for real this year I tell myself I think I said this before but I'm for real this year content for real for real like I want to be a content creator okay <laughs> for real I like a full-time content creator because I feel like I could do it I know I could do it I don't feel I know I could do it and I want to create stuff that I like to see I love watching people's videos on TikTok and reels and stuff like that so I feel like why not create my own because I actually do most of the same things you know like I am a mom so I am doing a lot of first time mom stuff which is also content you know but I feel like the brand page is really like dope you know mom means mom content just like a safe space for like moms eventually turn it into a thing where i can have events where all moms you know can come you feel me like i don't know do we think that's a good idea tell me what y'all think for real because i really have been thinking about that and i have really i already started the process because i'm excited about it so what do y'all think of that idea y'all tell me and i need to take out the meat for dinner so I need to get to doing a few things, but do y'all like my idea for real? Because now, I don't know, why am I nervous? <laughs> as well as I am doing, um, well I haven't started, but I am looking up the continuing education courses for my real estate license. So I'm about to get back into the swing of everything with my real estate. So I'm excited about that too. I'm so excited just like about this year because I just see so much for myself. Like I have so much aligned that I want to do in different career paths. So I'm like, yeah, it's time for that. Let's get it going and let's do it and do it right and do it be. Since I've been like doing stuff in my office for a little minute, I am going to go into the kitchen and get the meat out for dinner because I do want to have a home cooked meal and I forgot to show y'all my pepper steak, but I'm going to make it one day. I'm going to make it. I'm going to make it because it was so good, y'all. <laughs> okay, I'm going to take the meat out. To be so honest, I have no clue exactly what I'm going to eat. Reese said either chicken legs or steak. 
Well, we had beef last night, so I'm thinking maybe chicken legs. But we had peppers with the steak last night. So, hmm. Because y'all know I like to do the chicken with the peppers and the cream sauce. Y'all yeah, yeah, know how I get. So, I'm like, oh, what do I do? I don't know. But we got a lot of food in our freezer. I already showed y'all. So, we have to eat in this house. We cannot eat out, y'all. Like, let me just figure out what we're going to eat though, since we can not eat out. This freezer is stuffed to capacity. Uh, good groceries on deck, okay? Ew. Let's see what we're going to eat, though, for real. I guess we are eating chicken strips. Well, we're going to probably have to do, like, chicken alfredo or something, like a pasta or something, chicken salad. I don't know. Because I was looking for the chicken legs, but the freezer is so packed that they must be all the way at the bottom. And that was the first chicken I seen, so I just grabbed that, and that's what it's going to have to be. So, maybe chicken alfredo, maybe chicken salad. Who knows? We shall see. I'll post a picture on Instagram. Because if I don't get this video edited, like, in enough time, because the time change has me, like, so backwards, it literally, <laughs> it literally will be... 11 o'clock before I know it. So I love y'all. I'll see y'all in the next vlog. Meet Rylan is actually coming <clears throat> tomorrow. So be prepared to see all my memories of my little baby from day one. And I think I also am going to drop another vlog this week. So that's like what? Three vlogs in one week. I love y'all and I'll see y'all in the next video.